Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Today we're coming out to shovel some snow because we've got a lot of it and we wanted to talk to you while we're out here about why snow is a great insulator. I know, we're uh, we're in our snowy backyard. We're gonna do a little shoveling and yeah, I think we were kind of talking about this, about plants in general and snow. So I think this will be really interesting. Yeah. So guys, here we are in the backyard. Oh, it's so beautiful, Look you guys. It's snow. It's actually kind of raining right now, so we, we were expecting that. We got this random storm here where it just dumped. I mean, we probably have about a foot. Oh, at least. Which we normally don't get in the Pacific Northwest, mm -hmm. so this is kind of a random anomaly, but it's kind of fun. It's always beautiful to look at, and we um, we have a lot of work ahead of us. We, we shoveled our whole deck over there because it was oh, yeah. piled. Yep, and then it got more. And then, yeah, everything we shoveled yep. kind of usually piled up again. Yeah, usually in the winter time, we'll get maybe five inches or so, but nothing like this. This is this is a lot of snow. Well, especially so. followed, it was really icy and cold, and then now we're coming up with, it's supposed to rain for the next few days, so it's just kind of a mess yeah. to deal with, so. It's gonna be a slushy mess. We're, what our plan is, is to just kind of like shovel some walkways in our driveway, of course, yeah. out front, mm -hmm. and. Um, maybe clear off the table there, definitely get the deck. And the deck again. So guys, what we have here is our hot lip sage, and you can see that it's, uh, got some snow uh, over the top of it, but it's not all the way covered, right? And that's okay, because this hot lip sage is hardy in our area. Now you can see part of the plant is covered with snow. This is okay, because um, that snow is actually encapsulating and being an insulator around that tissue. So when the colder temperatures come at nighttime around here, like last night, yesterday we got all the snow, last night we it got down to about 25 degrees here, and so the snow was actually protecting this plant tissue that it's covering from those cold temperatures. It kept that cold out. It's what it does, it's really cool stuff. Now, another example here is our candy tuft. You can see a little bit is above the, uh, the snow here, and it's actually flowering, oddly enough, and so uh, it's a little early for us, but, uh, it's actually still insulating most of this plant that you see, and it's great. Snow is actually an insulator of plant tissue to protect it from very, very cold, uh, hard freezes when that happens. So it's actually a real beneficial thing. So also guys, what's going on here too is that the snow is actually gonna help keep our plants hydrated and watered because um, it's slowly gonna melt, right? I mean, it should, right? We, it's not gonna just melt all at once and then we're gonna have flash floods around here. That doesn't usually happen. What happens is, is it, it actually uh, melts slowly and that water just trickles down and filters through all the soil around the plants and it keeps them hydrated. It's great. So guys, Allison's showing our Japanese maple there and you can see some of the snow sticking around on top. A lot of it's gotten down below there, which is super cool too, because now not only do we have mulch, actual wood chip mulch, in and around our plants in our garden, that's an insulator to help protect the plant roots from cold, hard freezes. Now we have snow over that mulch is even a thick insulator, more insulator around it to even help protect those roots even more. So uh, we've got a double whammy of insulation going on here. It's pretty cool. So this is kind of fun as well. We just noticed this container and we have containers all over our yard, but you can see that um, the snow actually has kind of melted all around it, kind of the circle surrounding that. And that's kind of cool because kind of from a scientific nerdy point of view, the container absorbed some heat yesterday from the sun and it basically just radiated it back out and it kind of formed this ring around the whole container. So that's cool. It's kind of sad that we can't see the primroses inside because they're totally yeah, they're okay everybody. What's going it's on kind of is like, where are they're they? covered but they're if somewhere. the snow doesn't There's stick one. around and cover them for too long they'll be fine. And then once it melts, they'll still photosynthesize and all that. It's just when the snow sticks around for months on end, that can be a problem for any plant tissue that is still photosynthesizing. So that can lead to other issues. But for us, the snow is gonna be gone probably by tomorrow, if not sooner, and so it'll be fine. So we've got a little bit of work to do. Um, we're gonna get some things cleared out so we can get the cars out of the garage, and um, that's probably what we're doing in the garden today. Yep, shoveling snow and just uh, getting outside and taking in this crisp, fresh air. That's so beautiful, and it's good so, exercise too. Shoveling yeah. snow is yeah. awesome exercise. So guys, leave your questions and comments down below for us. We love hearing from you guys. Give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. Yeah, oh, and happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank happy you for Valentine's watching. Day. And hope you're out enjoying whatever you can in your garden, either inside or outside today. And um, we'll be back tomorrow with our Monday short, so come on by to see what we're up to, and have a great day, you guys. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.